Hey everyone, it's Joel from PirateTopGames.com. I know it's been quite a while since we last talked. Uh, I've been really busy and uh, with other things on the server, I mean. Um, just life has been a bit hectic so far, so um, I haven't got much time to work on the server or on um, anything really. But uh, today I guess I'll have the time to uh, show you guys another, you know, few things on how to host a Minecraft server. Um, first off, I just want to say that I have been working, so I'm not completely AFK. I recently uh, updated our site, so you can check that out. <coughs> and make sure you log in if if you haven't in, uh, since October, because your account will be deleted. <laughs> and uh, that we are also opening an RPG server, so um, you may have noticed, you may have known if you were here for a while, but uh, if you weren't, then um, that will be inter interesting news for you guys. So we'll have two servers soon, we'll have the community and the RPG server. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not completely gone, and that I am around a lot of the time. I'm always pretty much signed in on Skype, although when I do have Do Not Disturb, I'd rather you guys didn't disturb me. Nothing personal against anyone. Just I have 200 contacts, so it's a bit long. Anyway, so let's stop rambling and let's get to it. So today I want to show you guys how to use Navicat or any other type of program to host what's called a MySQL server. And this can allow you to use programs like Hawkeye, which is extremely useful, or Logblock, any MySQL based plugin basically. So to show you guys how to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another quick server here. And basically I'm going to do uh, testing server 1.4.5 and I'm going to just copy um, whatever we have already. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to just download the newest craft bucket real quick. I'm going to have basically in the links, um, I'm going to have in the video description, I'm going to have links to all the programs you may or may not need. Um, that's really up to you whether you want to use the programs I'm using or if you have your own specific programs you want to use. Um, right now I'm on the bucket dev page which I've shown in all my previous videos uh, where you get your newest versions of the server software, Craft Bucket. And um, the program I'll be working with today is called Navicat. Um, there's also, I'll show you a few programs you can use to host uh, MySQL if you're doing it from home. <coughs> so let's get to it here. We're gonna copy that in here. We're going to take a start a start file I already have, and we're gonna just start up the server. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by using a plugin called Hawkeye. Now I know a lot of people have made many videos on Hawkeye, and it's nothing new. But this is more about MySQL, not dedicated directly to Hawkeye. But we're going to get Hawkeye. So, the newest version of Hawkeye you're going to want to get is called Hawkeye Reloaded, if that's what you're looking for. It's probably going to be at the very top, the first one you'll see um, on y Google when you search it. So, Hawkeye Reloaded, you want to make sure it's the reloaded version because the old ones do not support the newer Minecrafts. This one, as you can see, supports 1.4.5. Now what I'm going to do is just because I'm special, I'm going to go down to the dev builds. I'm going to download his newest developer build, which fixes a couple of things. And keep. Keep anyway. We're going to drag that right into our plugins folder. So now that you have your Hawkeye, it needs MySQL to run. Any MySQL based plugin will usually require MySQL. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what's going to happen when we try and load Hawkeye without MySQL uh, set up. We're going to go over here into the console and we're going to type the command reload. There you go. So as you can see, it started to enable, let's zoom in here for you guys, started to enable, enabled Hawkeye, starting MySQL initialization in progress. That's no update found. Then you see error while attempting to connect to MySQL. And then error initializing Hawkeye database and disabling plugin. And then disabling Hawkeye and that's it. So as you can see, any plugins that are dependent on MySQL will absolutely always need 
um, will always need uh, MySQL. So MySQL, what's MySQL? It's another type of server. So this is a Minecraft server here. This is Minecraft and it's run by Craftbucket. Now MySQL is another type of server. They r they can run b along e beside each other fine. So if you have a host that's hosting your server, um, you can have both of them running on from that host, both of them on the, your same package, whatever it is, $20 a month, whatever. If you're running from home, you can have your, my, uh, your Minecraft server and your MySQL server installed here on your home computer and have no issues either. So MySQL is just a database collecting server. It takes a bunch of information and it puts it in a nice table for the plugin or whatever it is connected to read later on. So I'm going to open Minecraft here. I'm going to connect. And what we're going to do is we're going to go multiplayer and we're going to connect to localhost, which is my current plugin or my current server that we're running here. We just created. And this is very weird. I don't know why this is happening. Seems to be very slow. Slash spawn. Unknown command, yay. Seems like we're stuck between some of them. Oh, there you go. Okay. I don't know why we were stuck, but that's weird. So we're on our server now. As you can see, we have successfully logged in. But if we do slash pl, you'll see that our Hawkeye plugin sh is sh showing as red. It's showing as uh, broken, not working, and unenabled. Now, the server detects it, but it's saying it's not usable. So why that is is because we haven't hooked it up to MySQL. So slash hawk tool, nothing's going to happen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the server. Uh, up j Joel Samson and then slash stop and now that the server is stopped we're going to set up MySQL now I'm going to do it from my actual current server that I'm running actually you know what just because most of you guys probably won't have a host to do it I'm going to do it for you guys and I'm going to um, install what's needed so there's two programs you can use uh, one of them is called X WAMP, X AMP, I guess, X AMP, and then the other one is called WAMP. I know it sounds kind of weird, WAMP. There it is, WAMP server. So WAMP server will be the first one that you're looking for if you want to use WAMP, and then this one is called, uh, well, I'm not even sure how to say it, X AMP. We're gonna say, so. Either one really works. Um, we're going to go with WAMP for now since that's basically what it's dedicated for. So once you're on their page, you're going to click this button here. Start using uh, WAMP. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then you're going to click WAMP server. And then you're going to find out if it's a 32 or 64-bit computer you're running. So how you do that is you go to start down here. You're going to click right click on computer and then you see where it says properties at the very bottom right here you're going to click that once you're there you're going to see where it says system type okay 64-bit operating system so once you have your operating system uh, and you know it's either 32 or 64-bit minus 30 or 64 you're going to find whatever version you want to run. So 5.3, 5.4, 5.4, 2.4. Obviously, you usually want to get the newest version. So we're going to look between 5.4, 32, and 5.4, So we're going to get this one. And we're going to just click right over here. That's weird why some people, some websites um, don't make it as obvious. But that's where you're clicking. You're going to wait for the countdown up here and then it's going to start downloading. Now, for the time being while that's downloading, we're going to go and sh I'll show you how to use uh, Navicat. 
Navicad is a program that connects to external MySQL databases. So if you're not running it on your computer and it's being hosted somewhere else, you're gonna have a you're gonna download a program called Navicad. And I'll send a put a link to that in the video description. So we're gonna click it and click it, and you'll see that we have three servers here. One of them is my local server when I, I run one local, which isn't very often. My dedicated Minecraft server and uh, Michibo, Mi Michibo, which is one of my uh, players on my um, server which wanted me to connect at one point but we're not going to connect to his because no need so basically what's going to happen is you're going to create a new database so we're going to go over to connections and up here you would click the button that says MySQL which is the type of server we're running Oops, so we're going to click MySQL, and then the connection name, so in my case it would be FireTopGames.com, it would be the, the connection, the IP of the server, um, or sorry, no, that would be the name, so you can name it whatever, you can call it my server. Here is where the connection is, so in this case it would be my FireTopGames.com. Port, you always keep the default, and then you're going to have to, if it's external, you'll have to find out what your username and password is. Usually your host would uh, give you that information. So user is usually root, although some host will make it Minecraft. And then your password, well, you'll have to uh, contact your host, unless you already know it, and then you'll just put that in. You can click tech, test connection and OK. In this case, we already have, um, we don't need this go away. We already have my server set up so we can open it up and you'll see that I have a, da a database for my uh, off me which has lots of information in it and as you can see for you guys that believe I know everything about you um, it, all the passwords are encrypted there's no way that I can find out what your password is just to let you know um, <coughs> so that's we're gonna close that. Then there's m Easy Band, my forums. Uh, it's called Two because that's I just updated it. G, which is something Aereo is working on, I believe. Hawkeye, Hawkeye RPG, Economy. So how much money players have? So balance sixty and a lot of money on these some people here. Um. And then usually when you create your database, you'll always be left with, you'll always have two to start with, info and then MySQL. You create all the other ones. So in this case, we would right click, we would go new database, we would call it um, testing database, database, okay, and there's your new database. Now when you open it, you'll see there's no tables. That's because you have to wait for whatever you're trying to connect to the database to create the tables. In this case, we don't need this database, so we're going to delete it. Now, we're going to close that, and we should see that WAMP is now fully downloaded. We're going to click this down here, and run. Next, always, as always, I accept. Next, you're going to install it wherever it asks you to. Create a desktop icon, install. Now, it might take a little while to install, depending on your computer setup. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to show you how to configure Hawkeye. <coughs> In the plugins uh, folder, you'll see both the jar and the folder for the um, choose your default browser. Sure, explorer, whatever. Does it look like I care? Don't need to go to Windows, Programs. Whatever, man. Don't care. Okay, so we're gonna go over into open this folder here, and then the YML folder. So uh, in my previous videos, I showed you guys to get Notepad++. If you don't know what that is, go back in the previous videos for the link on where to download it. We're gonna open it, and here's all the uh, configurations and such for uh, this plugin. Now. You'll see that right now all of them are turned off, so it doesn't log anything, but that's because it's not connected to MySQL. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to max lines, we're going to keep that zero. 
log items drop on death we're gonna set that to true which means let's go keep track of when you die what happens to the items cleanse period we're gonna cleanse age delete data on rollback so that means after you roll back something will it delete it in the database and we're gonna say no because maybe if we want to put all the stuff back that was rolled back and do a rebuild we want to have that information in the database log IP addresses we're gonna say yes debug false priority max radius zero so that means there's no max radius give user tool true so that means when you type a slash hawk tool will it give you the log tool uh, we'll keep it as a log default radius five default tool command check for updates true on permissions false and whatever so we should be good actually um, we're gonna keep all this as it is what like I showed you guys so just keep a, a eye out for all this stuff here that I set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hawkeye table. So this is the table that it's looking for. So as you saw in our Navicat when I connected to my server, we have these tables. These are what are called tables. So we have one for off me, one for easy band, one for forums, one for Hawkeye, one for our RPG Hawkeye, and so on. So you want to create a new table when, let's say we created testing, testing data, We're, and we wanted Hawkeye to log to that, we would change this table name to testing data. Now that means that when it connects to our, our server, it's going to look for this table. Wait. I messed up. Tables is com something completely different, so we're going to ignore that. Ignore whatever I just said. We're talking about databases right now. This is called a database. It's, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's pretty late and I'm getting tired. So, Minecraft is a database right now. We're going to, we would change that to testing data, since that's a database we just created. Ta table is what is actually inside the database. So, you see tables, we have Hawkeye, which is there, Hawkeye Players, which is there, and Hawkeye Worlds, which is there. So World Table, Player Table, and Hawkeye Table, they're all there. That's the where it stores all the information. Now we're going to close this connection, and we're going to delete this, because we're going to actually do everything on WAMP from now on. So you can keep this all set as it is. You're going to click next and you're going to click start. Now you might notice that it says server offline and it will not work for some reason. It would never seem to work no matter what you tried to do. You see I'll put click put server online. This is how you start the server. And as you see it says cannot execute. Why is that? Well some people may not know this but WAMP and Skype use the same port. So what you want to do is close Skype, and we're going to bring this back into this window here, do not ask me again, quit. Then when we click on here and put online, it will spit another error at me, fantastic. Well I don't know why that didn't work that time, restart all services. Huh. There you go, now it's online, or put online, there you go, and we're waiting online there you go so I guess I had to click this right here which is uh, restart all services okay then you would click put online now you'll know it's online when you put your mouse here and it says server online so now that we have our server what, what do we do right so as you know Navicad is for external um, servers but since we're running this server right on our computer how do we get to this this menu how do we get to to here where we create oops where we create our databases and and create our tables well you can see you click here and then you go uh, I believe it's localhost but I'm not sure There it is. Okay. So you see you have WAMP server and you got your configurations. 
Now we're gonna click over on I believe there's PHP my admin. Yes, okay. So from here you can either click PHP my admin or just find it down here. It's called PHP my admin. So here is where you find your databases. You're gonna click on database and you'll have all your you see your your preset databases. Information, like I said, MySQL performance and test. So we're gonna create a new database. We're gonna call it Hawkeye test okay and we're going to create it and there you go we just created the database it was literally that fast it was that easy now once your database is cre created that's all you need to do here that's it that's that's all so we can close this and then we want to always make sure that this is online because if this server is not online then Hawkeye will fail it needs to be able to connect to it if you're running the server for Minecraft, you need to be running MySQL. They run together, okay? It's not like once you start it, you can turn it off. No, it has to always be on. So, <coughs> when we come back here, we want to keep the port default, which is like I, s I showed you guys over here. It's always, or over here somewhere, 300, 3306. That's always the default port. You always want to keep that the same. Tables, we always want to keep that the same. The, pl the plugin is best known for that. You want the username to be root. In this case, I believe the username is root. If it's not root, it's because you're doing it on a other host. The IP, so this local name, uh, host name, would be the IP. So for my public server, I would do firetopgames.com. But since we're running it on the same computer here, we're going to do localhost. Like when I connected to the server, Mine uh, Minecraft server here, and we're connecting to it under localhost. Now max connections will turn that up to 40 so it can log things faster. And then password. Now I don't believe there is a password set by default. You can set one but for now we'll keep it empty. And then we're going to find the database that we, collect that we created which was Hawkeye test. So now you're set. Um, we're going to turn that there, and now we're going to start our server. We're going to want to make sure that our MySQL is online, which it is. Then we go down here and we click start.bat, and we're going to watch. There you go. And as you see, the server has finished. And whoops. I think I froze it there. Yeah, there you go. So Hawkeye, enabling Hawkeye, it started. Creating Hawkeye initialization process like we saw before. Checking for new updates, no updates found. And then it actually connected this time. So table Hawkeye players not found, creating. Table Hawk worlds not found, creating. Hawk creating. Warning world edit not found. World edit selection is now disabled. It does like world edit to be on the server, but we don't need it. And then what we're gonna do, Hero craft chat not found, that's fine, and it's enabled. So now that it's enabled, it's pretty self explanatory. Refresh our server, local host, connecting, and as you can see, we are now on the server. Slash hawk tool should, with our configurations, give us the tool, which it did. Now let's break stuff. Slash gm1 or slash gm creative. I'm not sure what the command is for vanilla J game mode one. There you go. So we're gonna break a bunch of stuff. We're gonna start griefing. Hey, look, I found some some uh, uh, coal. Wow. Yeah, it's early, guys. I'm so sorry. And then what you do is now they have you your log. You'll notice that if we go back to my admin, PHP my admin and let it load because my browser is nice and slow when I record there you go databases Hawkeye test and you see all our our tables are already set so literally the the plugin like I said created your tables you never need to do that so and then you'll find our data all the blocks I've been I just broke are inside the table so now what happens when I want to do a rollback? Well, 
you can either hit a block if it's uh, a block place. So if I place dirt and I hit it, it would uh, record that. Now I believe it's not working because it's me. Like I'm the one doing this. We'll try. Oh no, but I recorded block break. So we're going to just go with breaking right now. So block break, I broke a block on today, obviously, the 5th, at 1 in the morning. And I broke it and I broke glass, or grass, sorry. So what do we do now? Well, we do a rollback, slash hawk rollback P, which means player, Joel Sampson. Now we're going to, oops, P, P Joel Samson. Ta -da. And then you'll see that that is the command we're going to use to roll me back. So anything I've done will be rolled back in this time, basically. So we're going to click enter, and you see that the block I placed and the blocks I broke all came back instantly. Um, now let's say I build lots of stuff. Let's say I put uh, gold everywhere. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work because of how it's configured right now. Oh yeah, it did. So you see I just place stuff and it literally says it. This time it says today at 1 5 a.m. Joel Sampson, which is me, br block place. I placed a block and the block I placed was gold ore and this is me and this is the time I did it. That's the information you're usually looking for. So once again we can do slash hawk rollback roll slash hawk rollback Joel Sampson and you see all my stuff disappeared again now what if I want to bring it all back what if accidentally I rolled something back and I didn't want to well I could do slash hawk undo which would undo the last changes but what if I, what if I want to bring back these holes here undo only does my last command but not everything in general well then you can do a hawk rebuild and this is why I want to make sure that the data on our YML here, plugins, whoops, that's not plugins, and config. That's why I wanted to make, to show you guys that down here, where I said, where did I say it? Delete data on rollback, I said that to false because I wanted it so that when I did a rollback, it didn't delete that information that was once there. So now I can do a hawk rebuild, hawk rebuild Joel Sampson. So hawk rebuild P for player Joel Sampson. And we're going to zoom in so you guys can get a good look at that. Hawk rebuild P colon Joel Sampson. We're going to enter. As you can see, it did, re it did everything I did. So when I do a hawk uh, rollback, it, undo, it undid everything I did. And when I do a rebuild, it redid everything I have done. Now what if I only want to roll back this but not this? Well, you can add a radius. So you can come down here and slash hawk rollback P for Joel uh, for player, Joel Sampson, and then R for radius, colon, and then let's say uh, who knows, five blocks or six blocks, let's say. I can't really tell, but so take a good look at this command hawk rollback p for pl player colon joel sampson which, because that's my name and radius which means distance colon six blocks so six blocks all around my current location now as you can see when i come back up to the top if i can um... this is awkward slash top that's not a uh, command without plugins Okay, well, we're gonna, as you can see, it ro rolled back only that zone and didn't roll back over here. Because I made it so only six blocks around me would be, be undone. So there you go, that's basically how you use Hawkeye, and that's basically how you set up MySQL. Now, you can use WAMP, like I said, and keep it online all the time to for your plugins that use MySQL. Or you can use, if you're on a host and you're paying, I don't know, 5 10 20 $15 a month, whatever it is, y and they have a MySQL server, you can do it using a program called Navicat. So there you go.
and if you guys have any questions let me know and um, I guess have a good day if you have any other um, questions on or maybe even comments on what I should do for the next video because I probably won't know just put it in the video description or go on the website and message me I'm I literally go on the website I usually actually have the website open at least uh, who knows half the day more than half the day I'm always logged in and online right now I'm not because I don't need you guys to see my notifications and stuff but yeah so anywho hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped and let me uh, know of any future videos I can make to help you guys okay and thanks a lot goodbye